We're in Windows Server 2016, and we're just about to promote this virtual machine Windows Server into being a domain controller. So we got to do a couple things before we do that. And one is we have to make sure the name of the server is correct. So we're going to right click on our start button, go to control panel. And after we get into control panel, we're going to go to system. And inside system, we're going to make sure that our computer name is correct. If it's not, we'll click on change settings. And then we'll click on the change button. And we'll see that it says DCON, which is exactly what I want. So it if it doesn't have what you want in there, such as the default Windows name, then go ahead and update that to the new name. Click OK, and it'll force you to restart, which is fine. Go ahead and restart, and we'll come back to the same point. Second thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the IP address is set statically. So if we go to the Network and Sharing Center by right-clicking on the Network icon, click on Change Adapter Settings, going to Properties, and we'll make sure that it says the IP address that we want. Now you want a static IP address because if it's set dynamically and that IP address changes, then Active Directory will be difficult for the clients to find and things won't work right. So I, I put this particular IP address in. Every network is a little bit different, so make sure you have the one for your subnet. Let's go ahead and close that and we'll go back to Server Manager and we're gonna click on Add Roles and Features. Now, if you don't see Server Manager automatically turning on, you can just click on the Start button and choose Server Manager from that list. All right, let's go ahead and click Next a couple of times, and then we see the name of the computer or the server that we want, and the IP address is correct. Go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to check the Active Directory Domain Services box. Choose to add the features. Click Next, 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 and Install. So this doesn't actually install Active Directory. All it does is install the role that allows us to upgrade this server to be a domain controller. This particular installation should only take a few minutes, up to 15 minutes at the most, depending on how much resources you allocated to your virtual machines. Um, so if we, while we're waiting, we can go to Player, and then we can go to Manage, and we can go to Virtual Machine Settings, and you can see how much RAM we have as well as how many processors we have. Some settings are grayed out because you can only make those changes when the virtual machine is turned off. So if everything's running very slowly, then I recommend that you give it more RAM and more processors. You also need to make sure that you don't give it too much uh, because you could use up more RAM than you have on your host. So this is my host computer. So if I go to Task Manager, I click on more details, I can see how much RAM I have to give. So you can see under memory, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot of RAM. So I could have given my virtual machine a lot more memory if I chose to. Let's go ahead and go back to our DC. We see it's all done. Now, if you uh, notice this link here, you can go ahead and click Promote This Server to Be a Domain Controller from right here. But many people just close the box and then don't even realize that that was there. That's OK. So if you close the box without clicking that link, just go back to Server Manager, and you'll see this little picture of this triangle. Click on Notification and click Promote This Server to a Domain Controller. And we'll get a new wizard that comes up. And we're going to create a new forest. So click on Add a New Forest. And the root domain name for us is going to be widgetllc.internal. Now, you want to make sure that that is spelled correctly because in an upcoming video, we're going to import a CSV file, which is going to import a whole bunch of different objects. And if it's spelled wrong, then it won't import properly and you have to start over. Click Next. We're going to leave these defaults where it says forest functional level and domain functional level because we have no other domain controllers we have to worry about. If you have a, an older server such as 2008 or 2012 that you want to make a domain controller, then you hit the drop down and choose one of these older versions for both the forest and the domain. Let's go ahead and put in the password for recovery in case Active Directory fails. So we'll put the same password that we're going to use for our administrator. Go ahead and click Next. Just ignore any warnings. Warnings don't cause us any problems. The only thing that can cause us a problem is if we have a red X pop-up. We'll choose the default NetBIOS name. Click Next. Click Next again. Next. 
And here's where we're going to see a bunch of warnings, most likely. And those that's perfectly normal. The only thing, again, you don't want to see is the red circle with the X in it. So we'll go ahead and see what we get. I see no uh, Xs, so we're good to go ahead and install. So we're now promoting our server to be a domain controller. And this does take a few minutes. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward. Once the server is promoted to be a domain controller, you'll get a message that says it's going to log you off and then it will automatically restart the server. We can see that it says we're about to be signed out. So that's a good sign because it was successful. You can click close and restart if you want, or you can just wait it out and it'll restart on its own. And there it goes. Our server has restarted, and you can see now that it says widget LLC backslash administrator instead of just administrator. So we're going to go ahead and type in our same password we've been using, and it's going to log in, and we're going to see it as a domain controller. So we're going to get a whole new desktop. So if you had anything saved on your old desktop, that's all gone. And you're going to get a new desktop that's going to pop up. And we'll make sure that we open up server manager. Again, you can find that in the start menu if you don't see it open on its own. And we're going to click on tools. And in tools, you're going to see a whole bunch of new programs that were not there before. So there they are. It says Active Directory. You have a bunch of different options. And the main one we're going to use is called Active Directory Users and Computers. Sometimes we refer to that as ADUC. And it shows up. And we see our domain. And we can see we only have right now the one domain controller and no other computers. Active Directory has been successfully installed, and now we can go ahead and join computers to the domain, add users, and do a lot of other features.